We're back again, slightly more optimistic than the last video because we have some really good updates and progress and um, I'm going to show you around. Hopefully today is a slightly shorter video but delivering some quite good transformations shall we say. The bathroom today is extremely extremely bright but look at how bright the sun is i can't see anything i also have a little bit of a cold like a little bit of a sniffle um obviously we're coming into the winter months here in the uk and my immune system is feeling that so i'm a little bit sniffly um my throat's a little bit sore but we're gonna get through this and today's been great so we've gotta we've gotta keep the optimism going one thing i will say I was here with my mum yesterday, so that was Sunday, the 16th of October, and it has been January, no, July, September, October, three months since I got the keys for this house, and yesterday was the first time I had an official meltdown. I cried. I just couldn't contain myself. I was so emotional and three months for me without crying about something that's like going wrong in all areas. Hopefully we've overcome the struggles of yesterday, which we will get into now. Okay guys, so we've not got much of um, a living room update other than we have uh, chasings going on. My ceiling has been plastered and painted one coat. So it's a little bit rough around the edges still, but um, the texture has gone, thankfully. Now, let me just tell you this. You are not ready for the kitchen. Sneak peek. <gasps> what do I show you first? The worktops or the tiles? Tiles first, are we ready? Look at these beauties. Look at these beauties. Can you, can you, sorry, transformation or what? For real, right? This is the kitchen as a whole. So it's a nice little C-shaped kitchen. Let me peel back. Look, look, can you see that? It's like a marble effect laminate and it's uh, pretty good actually. This is from B&Q. My amazing granddad and my uncle have fitted it perfectly for me. Just the worktop and the sink. This is the sink. I know it's all covered, but sink. Let me show you the tap. So let me just break this a little bit. Tap. I'm sorry, but look at this. We have function one, function two, function three. And I'm sorry, right, are you ready for this? <gasps> can you, can you deal? You know, for like the ball? I'm sorry, but I'm obsessed. I am actually obsessed. This is the house, potentially of my dreams at this stage in my life. Like I can't, the functions of some of the things that I've bought, I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a genius. So we already had the oven in before, didn't we? We've also got a hob in now. So this one hasn't got all its bits and pieces yet, but it's a gas on glass. It's a little bit dirty because um, there's been lots of works going on, but this is gas on glass. So from here, we also have my extractor fan, which looks basically like a big TV. It's not, it's just an extractor system. The situation with this at the moment is uh, the electrics are being put in place. Um, apparently, any electricians will know, this is not how to do electrics. This was previously there, but my electrician has said because um, we don't know what this connects to, whether it's like the boiler or, you know, something else, that he's not going to unplug it. He's just done a joint here and continued it onto the mains. So from a tiling point of view, I am obsessed with these. So all that needs to happen is the, the kind of skirting bit that goes around the edge. I already have them. I've already painted them. Um, they're going to go in after it's been grouted because at the moment there is no grout in there. So I'm going to be filling this with a white grout and then cleaning them up, 
popping the little skirt in around the edge of the cabinets and then we're ready to go. The electrics have also started in this little section. So this one's been chased out, ready for the fridge to go in. We decided that because the fridge wire is probably gonna be long enough, we decided instead of chasing down all the way from the top, all the way down to the floor, that the wire from the fridge freezer that I'm gonna get anyway is probably gonna be long enough to fit up here. So it just saves a little bit, you know, of the wall from being damaged again. Also, can we just appreciate, he's put in my switches. <gasps> can you see that? Can you see that? They're so smooth and nice. They're like a black, glossy, kind of metallic kind of, oh, they're just stunning. So nice. Okay, bathroom, are we ready? Three, two, one. Right. Let me talk you through. So floor, these tiles, the six of them are all set. We had them in a little while ago. These ones are the off cuts that we have cut, ready to be placed down with adhesive. Um, so all, basically all of these ones haven't been put in yet because we had to cut around, you know, the cabinetry and the vanity units and things. So this is what it looks like as a whole so exciting I decided and this has grown on me a little bit so this blue is called vintage denim by Johnstone Johnstones I think is the brand I didn't know if I liked it at first and I'm kind of getting used to it and I think now that all the tile is down this room really does need a little bit of color because literally the rest of it is white white like up here and everything is really really white so when we look at it as a whole i don't mind it it's growing on me it's growing on me a lot me and my mum um we've been tiling um obviously above the sink we've partially done where the shower is gonna go had some problems i'll tell you those in a second We've also done this amazing wall. This was the first thing that we did, so they're all already set. Whereas this, 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 and this, we only did yesterday. How good does it look as a whole? Let me know what you think. So all the tiling still needs to be grouted. That's what we're waiting for now, but we need to wait for these ones and the other ones that I showed you earlier to be fully set with the adhesive first. But this is it. So this bathtub is a 1.6 meter bath and that meant that there was a gap. I could have got a bigger one, which was 1.7, which is usually a standard bath, but it, I'd had to chisel into the wall and that's what the previous owners had done as well. But I think giving it this little bit of an edge, you know, I can put, you know, my shampoo bottles and other bits of smelly stuff that you have in bathrooms along this little wall. And I think it just kind of finishes it off nicely, particularly with this black trim too. I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out. So the plan with this is now to basically continue the tiles down and continue the black trim down so it's all nice and um, cohesive. And then the bath panel is going to go along, obviously, where the bath is to finish that off. So that's the plan. I'm realising as I'm going through this video, I am a lot more nasally than I thought I was compared to this morning. So I apologize if all you can hear is, you know, sorry. <laughs> anyway, on to the more dramas <laughs> of this little series that I'm doing is the shower. Here we have the shower. Now the problem being is that these pipes aren't flush to the wall. They haven't been pinned back, which means when I run the shower, these pipes are gonna be wiggling like this, right? So in theory, what should have been done is the pipes are pinned with a little pin clip, and then you fill this with the tile adhesive to set it back, and then you tile over the top of it. So as you can see, we started this yesterday, and then this is where I had my meltdown. 
I didn't want to tile over them knowing that they're going to be loose because that's just going to cause more damage to the wall, more damage to my tiles, and that means I'm going to have problems in the future. So what we've decided is my plumber, because he's not local to where I'm living, unfortunately, he's going to come down, pin the pipes, do everything else he needs to do with my boiler and all the rest of it, and then we're going to tile over it so he can put the shower on. Big dilemma, but that's the only way that we can do it otherwise. And then, of course, we've got this nice little black trim again to go all the way up to the ceiling to finish that, finish that little side off there. So, yeah, what do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I'm also obsessed with these taps. I cannot look at this. <gasps> I can't, I just love them. I think they're so stunning. The only thing here I wanna do is paint this little waste bit here. And obviously clean because it's actually filthy in every single part of this house. So my final point on here is that where I have my little um, sticky tapes is where my mirror is gonna be in a rough kind of, measurement this is what it's going to look like so i've got an led mirror it also has a bluetooth speaker which is just insane it's a really expensive mirror and i'm kind of sad that i spent that much money on it but it's um it's going to be great it's going to be worth it and the final thing to go in here when the plumber arrives is the um radiator the little towel radiator is going to sit here and um, i just tidied these up before because i was painting this wall but I'm gonna have to do a few extra, you know, finishes because we got some adhesive on the wall too. This part has been skimmed, ready to be painted, because beforehand there was a lot of like random wires that had been cut previously that were no longer being used. So this is all nice skimmed, boarded on the ceiling and ready to be plastered and finished off um, when that time comes. Bedroom one. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So as we discovered on the last video, we had a lot of water damage, which meant I thought this whole wall was going to come off anyway because the plaster was very, very bad. But thankfully, um, work is being started on here. We don't need to bring the ceiling down, which is grand huge job that would have had to have been done he has just patched my little wet bit there that is hopefully no longer wet <gasps> I've just not I've just been speaking for ages and I wasn't even recording okay we're gonna talk loft update because thankfully it's really not as big of a deal as what I was thinking because Basically, the roof has been out and he said that it's just a case of removing the tiles that are damaged and um, replacing the ones where there aren't any tiles and fixing the felt that the tiles sit on. So it's really not that big of a deal. And news to me, the great news to me is that it's not going to come with a huge hefty bill, which a full roof would have been. So... That's the good news. I don't have un any unexpected costs or, you know, expenses to have to think about. It is a, just a case of fixing what we already have. And as long as that does the trick and it fixes the problems that we've had in this bedroom in, in particular, I am down with that. I am absolutely happy. And it makes this renovation journey slightly easier. I'm really happy to see everything going in a direction which is the best news ever so um i think this is probably a shorter one than it previously was so hopefully it was interesting um i hope you're enjoying this little whimsical journey of renovation with me and um, i'm really enjoying doing them so hopefully that helps you know you guys in your journeys or your future journeys hopefully so yeah, let me know what you think to my tiles because they're like obviously the best part of this video. <laughs> See you next time.